cussing. Stop the cussing. Stop the cussing. The algorithm. Algorithm. All right. Bet. Listen. Listen. Wow. Team drivers or male team male male drivers that want to go team. Y'all looking for a female driver. Okay. Now let me tell you something. If I was the team, that's who I'd be looking for too. I don't want no hard legs. I, I don't. I don't want no hard legs. I want something sitting next to me that's nice and soft and smelling real good. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what I like. That's what I want. That's my preference. But I'm about the business. I'm about the business. Okay? Especially if we're strangers. I'm about the business of teaming. And the business of of teaming is to get into this truck and make the money. That's the business. The business isn't about the bush. Okay? It ain't about the bush. And that's the problem you male, you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to separate it. That's the problem with you male team drivers. Y'all too much about the bush. Y'all call out, y'all get in these groups. Y'all call out for a female to come on and train, I mean, the uh, team with you. They get on the truck, they're about the team, and the only thing you could think about is to put, is to, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you could think about. Oh, well, I got this female right here, this nice little fine tenderoni right here. I, I got my I got my Insta P right here in the truck. It's not what that's about, bruh. See, that's why a lot of females don't like teaming with, with males, strangers at that. You know, because y'all about the BS. Y'all not about the business. They, they don't want to get on here and be objectified. You know, all you can do is look over there and be like, man, she looks fine. Look at them two, you know, and all like that. She don't want to be, she don't want to be all that. She don't want to be looked at as a piece of meat on your truck, man. You supposed to be about the business and the business is to make the money for the both of y'all. That's what it's supposed to be about. Nothing else. You feel me? Nothing else. Nothing else matters but the business of the truck. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's about the business. And see, a lot of you guys, again, like I said, y'all about the BS. And that's why a lot of ladies feel the way they feel when a male come up to them and be like, yeah, I want you to train with me. Oh, I, you know, train with me and uh, uh, team with me and team this, team that. They don't, they, they don't want to be bothered with all of that. They want to come on, make that money and go. Now, teaming as a couple, that's a whole different conversation. You know, but we talking about we talking about teaming as as a matchup. You know, the company will match you up with somebody that's that's interested in teaming, or a male just you know shouting out like, "Yo, I I want a team drive with a female." And then y'all get the female on the truck, and all y'all can do is just talk and think about sex. Come on, man. That's not it. That that's bull. That's BS right there. It's BS, and that's not what and that's not what it's about. It's about the business. You need to keep you need to keep focus on the business at hand, and that's you driving your hours, me driving my hours, and we get paid at the end of the week. That's why I said, like you know, when when I when I if if and when I ever decide the team, that's what it's going to be about. Again, like I said, my preference is the team with a female because another dude on the truck ain't going to work for me. It, the, another dude on the truck is not going to work for me. But a female, I team with a female all damn day. All damn day. 
All right. That's just again, that's just my preference. But I'll tell you one thing. When you teaming with lockout men. You're going to know it's going to be about the business. That's what it's going to be about. We're going to get out here. We're going to do our six or seven thousand miles. We're going to we, we're going to rock out for a little bit. We're going to take some time off and then come back and do it all over again. That's what we're going to do. And again, like I said, it's going to be about the business. That's what it's going to be about. It ain't going to be about no BS. I'm not going to sit here next to you and be like, oh, so do you have a boyfriend? Uh, do, do, do you like, uh, what, what do you like? Uh, do you like from behind? Do you like doggy style? You know, those crazy sly comments that, that, that male train, uh, uh, teammates be saying to they, to their female counterparts. You know, that sly, that sly shit, that, that sly six. Hold on. Tongue tie. That sly slick S. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But for real, for real, it's about the business. If you guys feel me about the business, give me a thumbs up. Feel me about the business. That's what it's all about. I understand that we're lonely out here. I get it. But bro. I mean, even though they e even though women put that put that tag on us, let's let's go with it, man. We can get we we can get pee all over the world. Ho, 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 in different area code. We can get pee all over the world, man. I mean, there's lot lizards in truck stops that you all you have to do is just pick one. Hold on. Man, I just want to say I'm excited to be here on Showtime, you know what I mean? I might be, honestly, the youngest, well, I mean, as far as, like, record-wise, like, as far as, like, all the YouTubers and stuff, with the exception of them, I might be the paper you fire with the, late, with the least amount of fights, you know? But, I mean, you guys are going to see the summer I'm going to knock this, this dwarf the fuck out. That's how it is. You hear that? I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Flat line. Flat line. You know how it is. You damn fucking scared. What the f And then all you have to do is tell your teammate, like, look, man, I'm about to go over here to this hotel right quick. I'm about to Uber to a hotel right quick because I'm not going to disrespect you while you in, while you in the truck. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be like, hey, you know, you got to bounce out the truck for a couple of minutes because, you know, I need some a long time. Nah, I'm not going to do that. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful to the to the female counterpart that you got in the truck. You know, all that all all that you know that p funk, you know, all like that, and and you know that that can of uh, Febreze ain't gonna cover it all. You know, women knows the smell, even if you try to cover it up. Women knows the smell. Holler at your boy if women knows the smell. You know what I'm saying? You feel me out there? Women knows the smell. So what you do to be, to, you know, be a gentleman. Be like, look, you know, I'm about to go over here to this hotel right quick. Uh, I, I just need some alone time. You know, I'm about to go to the hotel right quick, take care of my alone time. And then we about to get back in this truck and get back to the business. That's what's up. We're going to get back to the truck and get back to the business. I'm not going to try and be like, yeah, I need to, I need to release. No, let me think. Uh, let me see what my, my female counterpart is thinking about. Hey, you, you know, what, what, what you thinking about? You thinking about, you know, front forward, backwards. Yeah. what you think? No, it ain't that. No. What you thinking about making this money? That's what I'm thinking about. Hey, I'm with you. I'm thinking about the same thing. So look, guys, you know, if you want to, you know, the teammates, the male team, you know, the male team drivers, y'all need to get y'all, y'all need to get y'all stuff together. Y'all need to really get y'all stuff together, man. And, and be about the business of the truck. Now let's flip this over to to trainers. You guys got it bad. 
Y'all, 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 y'all got it bad, man. Y'all, y'all uh, situations is messed up. That's why a lot of you trainers, well, ex trainers, are sitting at home, door dashing, playing video games, and all like that because y'all, y'all couldn't, y'all, y'all, y'all got hemmed up on some, uh, on some messed up stuff. The point of training a female is just that. Train the female. That's it. Train the female. Again, it, we, it, it comes back about the business. And the business is train the female. The female ain't paid all that money to come on here to be some fuck, to be some, some matchmaking. She ain't spend all that money to get her CDL just to come to a trucking company to go through a matchmaking. She ain't do that. She came, she spent all that money so she can make sure that she can have a better life for herself. She ain't spend no money to come on here to be friends or look for friends or you, let me rephrase that. You're not even supposed to be looking for friends. Ain't no friends in this business. Ain't no loyalty over here. Ain't no nostalgia to this right here. There ain't no back in the day, nigga. Ain't no nostalgia to this shit here. It's just the street and the game and what happened here today. It's about the business at hand. And the business at hand is you training me. Not you putting your hands on my thigh. Not you talking about your girlfriend and what she's not doing. Not you over here trying to get trying to get interested in your in your trainee counterpart. You as the trainer is supposed to train. That's it. And be a good trainer at that. That's why that's why I don't, you know, I know a lot of swift uh, swift situations be going on. And all like that. I put that on inadequate training. The the business is about you training and getting the female trainee to be the best driver that she can be. It's it's not about it's it's not about um it it's like I said before, man. It's, it's, it's not about you trying to come on to the girl. She she don't got time for that. That's why a lot of these females be like, yo, I want a female trainer. But we'll get into that female trainer in a minute, though. <laughs> We're getting that female trainer in a minute. But um, but as for male trainers and team dri uh, and and male team drivers. Man, stop with the BS, all right? Just do me that favor. Stop with the BS because there's way too many females coming in these Facebook groups over here talking about how they how they how how they feel about male trainers. And nine times out of ten, it ain't good. It ain't good. You guys over here trying to try to fill up on them. You guys over here trying to trying to trying to set some up. You guys over here doing some weird shit uh, stuff and so forth and so on, man. You know? So stop. Stop with the BS and be about your business. All right? Be about your business. Female trainers, I, I don't know if y'all do the same crazy stuff I, I don't I, I don't expect that you guys do you know but I know some of you guys are bums too as far as uh training goes whether it's a male or a female right so if you're a female training a female you 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 would think that the camaraderie would be a good thing right you you would think that. I mean, I talked to a I, I talked to a few female trainers that that had some some real serious issues with female trainees. 
And you you wouldn't even think that, right? Like, whoa. I talked to a female that that was being trained by another female and she was like a like a army vet, like like an army drill sergeant and all like that. So the female, the the female trainee was like, yo, I need to pull over and go to the restroom or whatever, whatever. No, drill sergeant, like, no, you see that bucket back there? Hit that bucket. Like, what? What you what you talking about? Hit that bucket. What bucket? Yeah, that, that bucket right there. You hit that button, close the curtains, hit that bucket because I'm not stopping. Like, like yo, oh, we doing it like that? Yeah, yeah, we we doing it like that. And I'm like, oof, okay. She was like, man, she and she had this like like this big old German shepherd on the on the truck. I can't, you know what? I can't. I can't. I can't. I I I can't. Even I, look, shout out to my guy D Nitty because he have his dog on the truck and you know he's a trainer too, but his dog is disciplined. You know what I'm saying? D Nitty could tell his dog to sit down and this dog is sick all day. You know, won't move at all. But I'm talking about dogs that like to move around, jump up in your seat, jump up in your face and all like that. I, I got this one female trainee. She was like the, the 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 her trainer's dog was like all over the place. She, you know, like pooping and jumping up on him and all like that. And she keep telling she was telling the female trainer, like, yo, um, can you like put your dog on a leash or in a cage or whatever, whatever, you know, or put him behind the cover? Nah, I can't do that. My dog need to get around and all like that. It's like, yo, oh, okay. How how many people have you trained so far? Uh, me, like I said, I you know there there's a few things that I can stand, but being on a truck with a dog ain't one of them. You know, the first trainer that they was trying to give me back in the day, he you know he had a dog, and I was like, nah. I'm good on that. But I thought you said you was open to everything. He, yeah, yeah, but not n not no animals. You know? I mean, I got a cat at home. I'm a cat person, but I don't need no dog jumping up on me and 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 around me. And 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 don't you know dog gives off a scent. Now maybe the owner might be used to that, but I'm not. I'm not, and I gotta sit in that with this guy for how many, how many days, how many months? I'm no, nah, no, nah, we no, nah, we not doing that. We not doing that. I had a I had a female trainer get a hold of me and uh, you know, the vent about the train the trainee smoking in the sleeper area. I'm like, what? Yeah, she's smoking in the sleeper area where both of y'all sleep. That's disrespectful to you. Like, I can understand if y'all, if y'all up in the front, and the same thing with me. I I said, you know, hey, they was like, do you mind if they smoke? I was like, no, nah, I don't mind at all because I can raise down the window, you know. And that's what I did half the time because the dude smoked like a damn freight train, like choo choo. So girl was like her, her female trainer was smoking in the back. And she kind of like asked her, like, you know, touch her on her shoulder, like, excuse me. Um, is it OK that you can go up front or go outside? You know? I'm not a smoker. I'm not trying to get secondhand cancer. Oh, no, I can't go. She said, no, I can't go outside. Uh, I, I can't do that. Well, you get, come on now. Show me some type of respect. And that's what it is about trainers and trainees. You, you, you got to show some kind of respect, man. You got to show some kind of respect. How you expect to get respect if you don't show it? And then you get upset when I turn around and be like, you know, be like, 
uh, yo, please, can you get out of the truck and smoke? Because in a minute, I'm going to throw this freaking water on you and it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge problem. Now, I said I don't mind you smoking, but bruh, at least back here in the back, in the bunk area, this is supposed to be our sanctuary right here, away from all of that stuff. And if you got to smoke, please get out of the truck and do it. It's like these buildings don't allow you to smoke in the building. They want you about five feet away from the truck or from the building. That's what I want you to be away from the truck, especially if we're parked. Because if we're parked, you can get out of the truck and smoke. There ain't no reason for you to be smoking, especially if you if you train in a non-smoker. You give that non-smoker some respect. And even if I'm up in the front, I can raise down the window and I won't and I won't even bother. You can smoke to your heart contempt. But come on, there's no windows in the back. And when we do open up a window, it ain't no it ain't no no gusts of fresh air coming in to the 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 to clear out all that toxins and and chemicals and stuff, man. I'm up in the top bumps. I'm I'm sleeping, I'm breathing, I'm inhaling all of that. Come on now. Give me some respect back here. 